Welcome to the presentation. I wanted to talk about something that I see or a mistake I see a lot of people making with their studies and it's um, it means you take a lot longer to get where you want to be. So it's just an idea really and it's going to um, hopefully give you a big boost. If you've never heard of me I've written quite a few books on IT certifications as you can see. I need to get rid of a couple here down the bottom because Cisco have retired the CCDA although I think the book's still for sale. Uh, always handy to learn design. And I used to work for Cisco. Been teaching IT since 2002. And you can see the books there. So um, if you're free, you can check out my websites, howtonetwork.com, 101labs.net, and in60days.com. Uh, if you want more information about passing IT exams, getting certified and having a successful career in IT, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button and uh, give the video a like and a share. So here's the wrong way. This is what I see loads of people doing. So uh, they do the Cisco CCNA, for example, and then they'll think I need to learn some Linux because I see that advertised on jobs. And then I need to learn, say, the pen test, if you want to become a pen tester. So as a rough um, idea, three months. Say you want to learn that from scratch, two months. Obviously, this is different for everyone, by the way. So don't uh, tell me off if I get the timelines wrong. I'm going to say for pen test, three months. And again, this could be one month for you if you're very clever or already know some stuff. So basically, what are you? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight months. And um, I, I'm going to suggest there's an easier way to get ahead and to just uh, leverage your time. So here's a clue. This is the um, ubiquitous certification from CompTIA, the Network Plus. And most people use this as their foundation when they're uh, getting um, certified so say this is your certification uh, pyramid and at the bottom here would be this foundation level and um, then you go to associate professional and then your expert levels up here so it'd be something like that you do, you do uh, associate CCNA then you, you could do um, then Encore oh, sorry sorry CCMP Encore is one of the exams and then uh, going up to the expert CCIE. I've probably got too many lines on here. All right, so here's a clue. You've done all the studying for the CompTIA and Network Plus. Well, the MTA is actually uh, a smaller version of this exam. And one of the advantages of the MTA is it, it lasts for a lifetime. The Network Plus is three years. So you basically already studied all of this stuff here while you've studied the bigger exam. So you basically, it takes 0% extra effort. You get two certs. Uh, obviously you have to pay, but this is only, I think, um, $100. So it doesn't cost much. The Network Plus, I think, is $350 to $400. It's quite expensive. What I'm saying is if it's between you who, or sorry, one person who's got net plus going for an exam and one person who's got net plus plus the Microsoft Technology Association, then this person is going to get um, going to get the job if everything else is equal, obviously. Now, this is the same kind of deal with the CCNA. You've already done, if you do the CCNA, they already cover a whole bunch of TCP, IP, um, IPv4, IPv6, and wireless, um, security uh, concepts. There's a whole bunch of stuff. This is a rough indication there's about 30 percent crossover so what you will do is take um say you did the network plus for first you've taken the the ccna from three months studying down to two months you've knocked off an awful lot of effort and again you're getting two certifications if you do the ccna uh, sorry if you do the, C the network plus you could very easily move straight into the certified wireless network analyst there's, um, I'd say, about 90% of 
of what you learn in the Network Plus and um, certainly the CCNA because it's got the um, wireless security uh, in there. So if you did this, this, check the syllabus for yourself obviously, but your order would probably be Network Plus, CCNA and then the CWNA. You could go Network Plus and CWNA and just learn the security here and then go down because you'll use that in the CCNA. You've got three certifications here and now there's a fair amount of overlap. I'm going to say around 20% of the CCNA I've lost my marker somewhere, sorry. Where is it? Now oh, here it is. So around 20% crossover here. And this is basically if you're interested in DevNet. And I think there's one of the... Yeah, the CyberOps. There's around 20% crossover between CCNA and CyberOps. But if security is more your thing, what you could do is go to the MTA Security Fundamentals and then the CompTIA Security Plus. There's a, a, around 90% crossover between these two certifications. Again, it's a, a no-brainer because you've already done all the work. The Security Plus and the CCNA CyberOps, there's about, again, please do check the syllabus, 60% plus. Um, overlap so it, to me it just seems like a no-brainer you've got one two three certifications if you went just for the security plus and then went off to do something else for example Linux um, you've wasted a lot of your knowledge because you'll become rusty in the other areas um, do check the syllabus for certified ethical hacker because there's crossover there also uh, the other thing I'm telling everyone to do, no matter what your chosen career, is learn Linux because you'll, you'll be experiencing it somewhere. Your customers will be or you'll be using it at work. So if you go for the Linux LPIC, this used to be 100%. So if you passed one, I can't remember the order, but I think if you pass the Linux Plus, the LPI used to say, well, send us your certificate and you'll get this. Now there's a little bit of difference. So it's 95% crossover between the syllabus for one and the syllabus for the other. Check what the differences are because um, they do um, update the syllabuses from time to time. And the other thing is Python. I think this is my last example, but you get in the drift. The um, entry level Python is very easy, just a few hours study, and this is maybe uh, a month's worth of studying, but. Microsoft have got a very valuable certification called the MTA, Microsoft Technical Associate Introduction to Python. I um, We've got all of these on uh, my um, howtonetwork.com website. I haven't taken the courses myself because I'm writing some networking stuff, so check. But I think you would be best off going to the entry level, the certified, and then circling back to the MTA because of the amount of crossover. Oh, sorry, it was the second last one. Um, Cloud Essentials is almost the same as the Microsoft um, AZ900 because this is just Cloud Essential stuff. And then you should really look at doing the CompTIA Cloud Plus because these are all um, very closely linked. Again, check the order. You might want to do this order here or you might want to go um, Cloud Essentials, Cloud Plus, and then to the AZ900. All right, so if I missed anything or you've got ideas of what you could add, remove, change, just drop a comment. Uh, I don't pretend to have all the answers, just uh, quite a few of them. Um, if you're interested in learning any of those certifications I mentioned, we, uh, we've we got all of them. I think we're up to 40 at the moment with some more coming every month, plus live Cisco racks, etc. Yeah, go to howtonetwork.com. If you want to get my 30 days offer for a dollar, then eventually come to the howtonetwork.com and add the YouTube to the end for slash YouTube. It's actually, uh, like I said, it's more than that now, so I need to change that. I think we've got around 40 courses now. Practice exams, unlimited, live Cisco racks, expert support on the forum, career training, exam strategy support, and... Um, Thanks for listening. Again, please uh, do like and subscribe, drop a comment, and I'll see you on the next video.